Hi, welcome to another episode of Songcraft, and today we'll discuss why you should write a two chord song today, right now. So, the first reason is if you simplify your songwriting in terms of chords, you can let other aspects of the song shine. It adds to the vibe of the song from other aspects other than the chords. So one of my favorite songs, like ever, is "Dreams" by Fleetwood Mac, and the song is just in two chords, in F and in G. So if you think about the song as in the key of C major, then it's just you know a four and a five, four and a five chord progression. If you think of it in the key of G, for example, is in flat seventh chord and then one chord and so on. So very simple song and chord progression, however you look at it. But that doesn't prevent it from becoming a great classic song because of the limitation of the two chords. Because of the simplicity of the two chords, other aspects of the song just shines. I think my favorite thing about the song is to make. Flitwood's drum beat. The drumming is just phenomenal, and it's my favorite beat of all time. And because the chord progression is more simple, and you listen more to the lyrics, and the lyrics by Stevie Nicks are just great and sublime. And that's why the first reason is if you make your chord progression simpler, you can. Add to the other aspects of your songwriting, which can be lyrics, rhythm, or it can be melody. The second reason why you should try a two chord song today is because it can let the energy of the music shine. So, for example, Bruce Springsteen's song "Born in the USA" has just two chords, and Is in the key of B, I think, and it's just in the one chord and the four chord. And because of the simplicity of the chord structure, you can really hear. Well, not actually because of this the simplicity, but because it's simple, it lets the energy of the band shine through even more. If you listen to the band's playing, it's just energetic. And you're not being distracted by the complex harmonic movements. Everything is just pure rock and roll, and it's just the heartbeat, the guitar, and the voice, and the bass, of course, and everything else. But because of the simplicity, the energy can shine through, and the lyrics as well. And that creates a really interesting contrast between Bruce Springsteen's dark lyrics and the bright. And energetic music in Born in the USA. So that's the second reason to let the energy of your music shine through. The third reason why you should write a two chord song today is because maybe the kind of music you write actually demands it. One of the biggest song of the last decade is Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars, and the song. Is in the key of oh ah it's in the key of D minor I almost forgot and is in one major and four minor through the whole song and that's it that that's because that's not because the songwriters are lazy that's because in the music of funk that is what the tradition is. And if the tradition of your musical genre requires a two chord song, then by adhering to the rule, you have more creative freedom to explore within that kind of music. So, if you're working in rock and roll, in funk, and that sort of energetic and more rhythmic based music, maybe writing a two chord song should be on your to-do list, on the very top of your to-do list. So that's three reasons why you should write a two chord song today. If you have liked this video, please like and subscribe below. And I am Alvin. 
the lead singer and songwriter of the band The Audience with a T. If you want to check out our original music, link is below. And as ever, I'll see you next time. Bye.